Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, I have a project for you and it's on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts as part of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. And today I made a lovely little project and I just wanted to share it all with you. Um, I've got the week off work so it's been great being able to, to craft in my workshop. Now what I've made is a hanging photo frame and it's th in three parts. I hope you can see this okay because it's not easy to show it in the camera. So it's in three parts but what I'll do is I'll show you each bit by bit. So it's coat um, chipboard scalloped edge chipboard and I've coated it in patterned paper and then the top one's a frame and the other ones are just the other two sheets are photo mats and I've papered it on both sides and I have done the I've adhered each piece to piece with seam binding um, and it's underneath the paper so that you don't see it but I know that you can slightly see the, the seam binding there but once the photograph's on you won't see that. So it's covered front and back and as I was saying you can slot a picture in down through here at the back and I used one of the metal embellishments today and I absolutely love it. Can you see that? <gasps> It's gorgeous and I need to get some more of them and I'm waiting on them coming back in stock so I can order more. I absolutely love these. They're great to work with. Um, so what I did was I put the metal one at the back and adhered it with hot glue. Then this flower here, um, I've got one here that I can show you, started off as a paper flower. If it'll focus. There we go. It took its time. So it started off as a green flower and I gave it three coats of copper embossing powder to give it a metal look. Can you see that there? And put one of the um, brown rhinestones in it, at the middle and the rhinestone is a five millimetre rhinestone and you get them in packs with three, four and five. Then what I did was I took um, plain chipboard letters and thanks to Rach0113 and Claire, they talked me through this process today on Ustream and I'm ever grateful for them. So thank you so much girls if you're watching this. and. This, I coated it in uh, embossing powder and then inked up a stamp and stamped the, um, stamped the stamp into the hot embossing powder and it left um, uh, an indentation of the, the script stamp and it looks like metal. I just love it. Um, it's a new technique that I've learned um, and as I say, I'm in love with it, so that was that. Then the next one down, um, I took a heart, a chipboard heart, and then did the same effect on there. And each page is distressed and inked in vintage photo as well. And then we have a cluster of Wild Orchid Craft flowers at the bottom here. We've got 10 millimeter roses, a couple there and one there. We've got the now, if people call it different things, gypsophilia or gypsophily, it's known as those two words here. So, and it's these little flowers here, and they're great for filling in little gaps. So, they're really pretty. And what I did was, I've got one of the new carnations, and Natasha designed these. But what I did was, I took the, um, I took the flower, just these plain flowers and I dipped them in Versamark and then I dipped them in copper embossing powder so that you're getting a little embossed tips on the edge of the flower and it ties in with the heart and the love 
and then the very last page um, is just covered in paper again inked in vintage photo and a smaller heart and it was my friend Deb Manula that sent me these hearts and the chipboard actually because she sent me a wonderful package at the weekend so thank you Deb but we've got um, a, a wild orchid craft charm here that just nestles in at the top of the the heart and then you've got the script stamped into that and then we've got three 10 millimeter roses and that's the, the, the wall hanging and of course you've got the seam binding at the top and I'm going to get a nice little um, wooden rod for putting through there so that I can hang it up on the wall in here and I'll get photographs of the kids and put them in so a fun fun project and it's gorgeous because you can make it whatever whatever style you want you can have it grungy you can have it shabby chic you can have it all sorts um, but I made mine green and floral and copper hearts and metallic looking so I hope you enjoyed this don't forget to check well Cra orchid crafts out for their metal embellishments because they are really really nice um, and I know I'll definitely be ordering some more um, and uh, and also check out the Wild Orchid Crafts channel and the rest of the design team members projects and uh, and I'll see you again soon with another project so thanks very much for watching and bye for now <laughs>